30 flight. We wanted to get home before midnight. So we scrubbed up, got dressed, took the shuttle, got to the airport. They said, oh, you can have a 645 flight. Isn't that great? So we said thank you, and I'm talking intention here and being open. We get to San Francisco. We're scheduled for the 430 flight. It's now 10.30 in the morning, California time. That's a long time. So we said, let's, let's go and look at standby. So we take the shuttle to the gate. I walk up to the gentleman and say, this is what we would like. We want to go standby. His response? That'll be $150 <laughs> a piece. I said, oh, really? Oh, well, they only charged us $50 in Philadelphia to book us through. Well, go talk to customer service. <laughs> well, what I know about that is that door was shut. But he told me where to go. Nicely. <laughs> he gave me direction. Spirit always does. If you listen. I could have said, and just wait and been the victim. So I said, well, let's go see. So we moved, moved down to two other people I had to encounter. And they kept telling me where to go. The last person said, I would be pleased to help you. She never mentioned that price. She said, here is your standby tickets. We still have two hours till this plane. We're still not confirmed. We go have lunch, one more meal. <laughs> Long story short, we walk up to the gate. I hear Benson, party of three. I walk up to the same Go down the hall, guy. <laughs> All smiles. He says, here's your boarding passes. Oh. We were on. So what I know is to remember that we're always in safe and smooth travel and movement forward in our lives. That was a powerful example, again, of how consciousness, mind, intention, being open to the best way whatever it is, how it carries you forward. Now, the best way may have been at 4.30. You would have said, okay. Mm -hmm. But it does not cost to ask. It's free, Lee. <laughs> <laughs> it's free. So, we live in a family of travelers. Our souls evolving all together here. Some of us are with us, and some of us are not. We travel along this life. And I have found that there is no lasting good derived from resistance, rudeness, pushing against anything. And gratefully, I have learned to give over that which is not serving me or those around me. And that's a tough one. Your life changes when you turn away from where you thought or assumed you needed to be or to do, or to have, or fix. That's a big one. I can fix them. It doesn't work. I tried it. I can only fix myself. Turn away from all that and refocus your attention, co-creators. Remember that. You're co we're all co-creators. Keep the clear vision of your good, not mine or anyone else's. But, you know, that's not always easy. Because each of us, each of us, has our own way of doing, of being, and of responding. Eric Butterworth said, God can do no more for you than God can do through you. All the help of God cannot aid you except as it flows through your consciousness <clears throat> through your faith, through your vision. So before you attempt to raise or accept more of anything in your life, the first step should be to raise consciousness. But you know, sometimes things just slip out, don't they? Reactions. 
like the guy at the airport. It wasn't my fault. It wasn't my fault. I believe I was there to not push. So I said thank you and moved to the next part of my good. Well, what I recommend at times like that is a good dose of mental visine. Mental visine. Mental visine contains three kind of basic areas of ingredients. The first is an intention to see the situation differently. The second, which helps that, spiritual mind treatment, a practitioner for greater good in this revelation. And the third is to move forward. Move forward with an assurance knowing that spirit supports everything you do toward your greater good. You know, life is a continuous movement and filled with change. I like the kind of jingles, too. It's up to us how much enjoyment we allow into this lifetime. It's up to us. Dr. Holmes tells us, we must cleave to the good and trust absolutely in the law of God, which is the law of good, to bring about any desired end. As soon as we learn to depend more and more upon perfect law, we shall find that the outward things which are necessary to our good will be provided. That flight was a perfect example for me. It was provided easily. But I had to step up. I had to step aside. I had to turn away from this, this or that. I had to be clear in my vision of what I desired and listen then to where I was directed. I set that up. Nobody else. We are living our good one choice at a time. One choice at a time. Are you living yours? Are you truly living your good? Or have you deferred to that dreaded condition of confusion called fate? I've talked with many who seem to believe that we ought to be able to stay in this connected feeling more of the time. And we can. We can. And I believe it's possible. And it's a whole lot easier to, to stay in that space if we keep ourselves insulated from the world. Like top of the Himalayas. <laughs> it's easy to stay in this oh, beautiful space when we're not confronted with some of our stuff. But what I do know from personal experience is that we tend to allow the dramas of whatever's around us to come into our awareness, within our sphere of awareness. And those outer influences, they can kind of bog us down, can't they? Well, here are some other bog us downers. Do you tell yourself, this is too good to be true? That's hard to believe. I can't have that. Or what's next? What's, what's next? Wow, this thing happened, now what's next? The other shoe's gonna drop. Sorry, Kathy. Don't lose your shoes. I bet she has tracking devices on those shoes. Spiritual family, remember, bogus downers are doubts in our mind. They are doubts in our mind. And what I know about doubt is it's pretty to family is that it's a cousin to victim. <laughs> Real close cousin to victim. What are you choosing? A family of faith or a family of choice? Being in any family does have its moments. It does have its moments. So many choices to make as we pedal through our lives, aren't there? With family and, and just living. Some are labeled good, but others are like bad. Real bad. Real bad. And capable of causing a lot of anxiety in, within a situation or group. But what I find as true for the good and the bad, all of that adds up to our personal development. 
Each choice we made in the past, we made by saying yes or no to it. I say we keep close the principle of mental advising for the clarity and get off our anxiety cycles. Because they just go round and round if we let them. Pedal, pedal, pedal. So begin a new direction with your, with your thinking. The choice is always clear when we see all experience, all experience as necessary. Every experience is necessary to hear toward who we are today. And when we can recognize the value and the gift in everything up to now, we get out of the victim and become a conscious co-creator. Today, I urge that we celebrate not only our human DNA, but also our spiritual oneness as, as the family that we are. So many options. There's so many options and so much good to accept. Are you ready to live a life from a higher point of clarity? I, I always am, because I know there's always more. This is so good that there's more. It's an ongoing process that moves each of us into our spiritual magnificence. Why wouldn't we want that? I look at it, each of you this morning and I, I just, You've all added so much to my life. It's not belief system that's negative or you know, spiritual BS. It, it is the truth of, of how I feel. Each one of you has, has added to the flavor of my life. And I, I want to honor you this morning for that. Um, it's very precious to me. Now is the best time to give up the not for me consciousness and open to the truth. And here it is. My choice is clear. Life is for me. Always has been. Always will be. Now I invite you to repeat that. My choice is clear. My choice is clear. Life is for me. Life is for me. Always has been. Always has been. Always will be. Always will be. And I close with a writing from Helen Steiner Rice. The priceless gift of love is life. For with the support of spirit, love can change the human race and make this world a better place. For love dissolves all hate and fear and makes our vision bright and clear. So we can see and rise above our pettiness on wings of love. Namaste. Namaste. And so it is.